You're watching this video, so I'm going to assume that you know about water cycle and you know about hydrologic cycle. You should pay attention that hydrologic cycle for urbanized areas, for developed areas, is different from other areas. Let me explain how. So in urbanized areas, you have a lot of paved surfaces that are probably impervious, meaning that water cannot infiltrate into the soil freely, naturally, right? Instead, it's going to run off the surface and create that stormwater. So we are going to manage, collect, and manage that stormwater. So in this video, I am going to introduce you to the principles of stormwater collection and stormwater management in urbanized area. And then in this video series, we are going to learn some mathematical ways, some hydrologic models to be able to analyze uh, stormwater collection systems and stormwater management systems. Let's start with the components of stormwater collection system. Take a look at this sample parking lot and the street that I have for you. So again, these two areas, we're going to consider that these are impervious, meaning that water is not going to naturally infiltrate in, in the soil and these surfaces because they are paved, right? So water is going to run off the surface, right? And the first component that I want to talk about is going to be curbs and gutters. All right, curbs and gutters are going to be along the edges of the street, right? There's a slope that moves water from the center line of your street to the edges, and curbs and gutters are right over here. This is a picture of a sample, sample curb and gut, gutter. So essentially, there are small open channels that move water from one point to another point, right? The second part is going to be inlets and catch basins. All right, water inlets and catch basins. So I am pretty sure that you have noticed as you are walking in a street, you will see small inlets along the street. Something like this. Essentially, it catches the water. So these are inlets and there's a structure right beneath the inlet that is called catch basin. The photos for the inlets and catch basins are right over here. All right, and this exists both sides normally. Also in a parking lot, because it's a paved area, you will have some inlets and catch basins as well. All right, then that leads me to the next part of um, stormwater collection systems, which is going to be storm sewers. And storm sewers are pipes that connect these catch basins to each other like this. And then eventually this storm um, sewer is going to be connected to a body of water. It could be a river or it could be a wetland, a detention basin, a retention basin, so on and so forth. And we are going to talk about that. All right, in the next parts of this video series, we are going to talk about these components. And we're going to learn how we can design a stormwater collection system. When I talk about design of stormwater collection system, I talk about a design flow. This is the design flow that goes into each of these inlet and catch basins. And according to this design flow, we'll be able to calculate the diameter of the storm sewer and also the slope of the storm sewer. And this would be what we want to do for the design of our stormwater collection system. Q or our flow rate is going to be calculated using the rational method. And the rational method, you all know that it's the CIA method in which C is the runoff coefficient, I is rainfall intensity, and A is the study area. And um, diameter and slope are going to be calculated or designed using the very famous Manning's equation. Next, we are going to talk about stormwater management systems.